<laughs> All right. Well, listen, man, this has been such an enjoyable conversation. And I do want to bring in our audience now. So again, uh, we're going to switch to open Q&A. Please put your questions in the Q&A section of the Zoom webinar. I'd like to actually begin with Salman's question, which he put in actually relatively early in our conversation, which is, what prompt or prompts are you using and what AI tool for editing? Um, I think uh, Ling has been a little bit active in the chat right now talking about some of the AI approach. But uh, yeah, like to tell us a little bit more in this vein of AI, what you're using um, I mean, right we're chat GDP4, chat GDP3, um, three and a half. It depends what, what, what we're calling, but yeah, we're working with open AI. Um, and then we're working um, on the image model side of it. Uh, we have the Kaczynski, Kaczynski is the smallest model we use, but I, I'm really encouraged at how like they open source a model and then someone changes it just a little bit. And these, some of these smaller projects like are just as good as the bigger ones, which is yeah. like from a technology perspective, just so much better and exciting and much more fun to be in whenever you don't have to, you know, there's always that upfront cost why the giants are better. And with these LLMs, it's not always true. You know, you maybe I can't afford the GPU that you can, but I can totally use the same model. Um, so, I mean, with the with the prompts, uh, like what we put in the editing protocol and in the help section, we also do our help docs with Notion, uh, like you guys. Uh, so it's a pretty good writing tool as well. Um, but we're, we're, it's the same language, like for specificity in the headline, you know, we're asking it to read it and then we're giving it a few opinions about how we think story should be. Um, and then we save those. Um, mm. so I, I think the, pro I'm still learning more like everybody else about how these AI prompts work, but the first step is when can you use them and where can you use them and then how you can use them. Yeah. Is, that's kind of more where I see the, the integrations happening, um, like rewriting, rephrasing. I mean, we did try for like a week. We ran every single submission through one <laughs> one prompt that we really liked that we thought would make it better. And it became too it became too uniform and it wasn't I like see. making yeah. the right grammar choices based on the type of story that it was. So it was like, okay, we learned from it. You know, we like it, you can't, it's hard to do, you can't really do one fits all. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of have to look at what type of content is and we try and gather more information about the content and more context around it, like you know, is it original reporting? Is there, what companies are mentioned in it? Stuff like that, that's actually structured data, you know, within our content management system. And that, that we could work towards that to, you know, like, oh, this is the business editor. Oh, this is, you know, the programming editor and have a little bit different that way. But I, I'm learning like, like everybody else is the short answer. Yeah. It's amazing too, because like, if we even just go back one year, ago <laughs> like you know th this kind of yeah. stuff was totally exotic right <laughs> so like uh content and I, I think like even um great media media companies like hacker noon are, are in for like a pretty amazing uh acceleration of i don't know uh evolution i'm using all the vc phrases just something really cool is changing right now and how content's being developed but i did like your point which is we found the same problem which is if you use the same prompt and apply all the content through it, it just starts to, it actually kind of like is a race to the bottom of starting to yeah. feel more and more deadened in yeah. terms of like the quality of the voice. So that part, I think yeah, it has a, a ways to go to start to, you know, or maybe I have a ways to go to figure out how to train that a little bit better. 